I don't know. It was, uh, you know, we got off to a really slow start offensively, and you got to give credit to Pope for that. He just uh, threw a lot of strikes, got ahead of us, and, <clears throat> you know, we couldn't get a big hit off of him, you know, early. And then, uh, you know, we finally broke through there, I think, in the sixth inning. And you know, the disappointing thing is they come in right if we score two, they, they score two. And that's kind of got to be our shutdown inning to really have a chance to get back in the game. Um, I thought their hitters did a really good job of laying off some borderline pitches early in the count and, uh, you know, worked the count. We got a good pitch to hit. And uh, we just couldn't catch them. Coach, obviously not the outcome that you guys want this weekend, but how do you guys rebound and get ready for a regional uh, next weekend and wherever they send you? Well, I think you just you try to rest up a little bit the next day or so. And, you know, you know, there's you try to just try to find some positives. The positives are we didn't stress out our, our pitchers all weekend. And, uh, you know, offensively, we, we had an inning or two, but we just have to score more runs. We just – you know, get our mind right. That's what we talked about after the game. You know, get back, regroup, get healthy, be 100% when we throw the first pitch next Friday, wherever that may be. Yeah, Tom Murphy, Arkansas Democrat. Is that Dave? Glad you're feeling better. Um, just can you put your finger on maybe uh, your teams haven't had stretches like this very often, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's been one day, it's one thing, the next, it's the, you know, it's, it's, it's another. So, one day we don't score, one day we don't pitch real good, or maybe we didn't field. I mean, it's sometimes it's just the way the game works. A lot of and other times you just have to give the other team credit. You know, you you look back at you know Vandy's lefty throwing a great game against us, really in the second game of doubleheader to win that series. He did the same thing here. He's really good. And uh, you know Alabama's got their backs to the wall, and I mean they just they just outplayed us. And uh, and then we came here, and yesterday from what it looked like they uh, are. Two days ago, we just we gave them the game in the first four innings, and then we didn't catch them, get beat by a run. And today, you know, they just we didn't really do a whole lot wrong. We just didn't do a whole lot, and they got a couple of big hits. So I don't. It's not like we've fallen apart. It's just that we haven't done enough to win. And it's like I always tell the players: it's you know, winning's hard, losing's easy, and uh, you have to you have to do something special sometimes to win. And we didn't do anything special this week. You said you didn't stress your pen. You gave both your other starters some innings. Just how do you feel like you're, you're setting up for what you want to do in the postseason there? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's what we were trying to do. We were losing and four or five runs, and we wanted to get Hagan at least an inning, and, and then also Jackson Wiggins an inning. And, uh, you know, we, we wanted to get Tiger some time out there, too. He got a little nauseated, and we don't know what went on there. Um, so that's why we pulled him out of the game. But um, they all got it to get on the mound this week. You know, they have a little extra time to rest this week and have a, have a little bullpen session and get ready for whatever gets put in front of us. Coach, uh, Courtney Mims, Pig Trail Nation. You kind of answered it a little bit there, but Brady Tiger, his mom did tweet an update saying he felt a little faint. Did you go and check on him? Kind of what is his status right now after the game and, and moving forward? He's, he's feeling better, but uh, obviously in the middle of the diamond right there, he, he – he had a little rubbery leg, so, you know, we, we got him out. You know, coach just went out to the mound. He should have just told him, I don't feel good. And then we wouldn't have been that much drama. But, uh, you know, guys want to try to stay in, tough it out. But sometimes that's not the right thing to do. So he'll be fine. And uh, just a follow-up, are you feeling okay yourself? I know you gave an update in, in the broadcast uh, before the game started. But for us here, you know, how are you feeling? How are you doing today? Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing fine. Just uh, Just – I don't like losing. Andrew Ellis, hogsports.com. First off, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. You've been around, obviously, a lot of teams in your time with Arkansas. How confident do you feel with this group that they're going to be able to dig deep and kind of go on some type of run or kind of put their best foot forward for this NCAA tournament? I think they'll put their best foot forward. I think uh, I think they're very disappointed in the, in the week we've had here and that uh, – you know that we've we've uh, we've left a lot of runners on base. We haven't pitched real well. We just haven't played well, and uh, we've got some time to regroup. And I think that 
you know, whoever we play, I'm sure they're going to be really good. The whole regional is going to be strong, and I think we'll be right in the middle of it. Coach Mitch Davis of MitchDavisShow.com. I want to ask you about the depth of this conference. Obviously, it's the best baseball conference in all of America, along with all the other sports. How does that get you ready for the NCAA tournament? And how does playing a team like Florida, who's uh, fighting for the life right now, get you ready as well? Well, you know, you, I, I think most of the coaches will tell you a lot of times, you know, once you get done with league play and even the tournament, you know, it's just kind of – it's nice to play teams from other leagues. Not saying you're going to beat them, but it's just nice to get out of league, play somebody else. Um, you know, the, the league will get you ready for anything that's going to come at you. Doesn't mean you're going to be better than whoever you play, uh, but you've played teams like them, and uh, you don't get shocked by anything. We'll get two more in, Coach. Coach, have you had to miss a game before for whatever reason? It's only the second time. The, I missed a Friday night game at Tennessee uh, when my oldest daughter uh, graduated high school. And I also gave the commencement speech that night. Was it a team meal thing where you got sick? Did no. players get sick? Or? No, thank goodness, or we'd have been in trouble because there was nobody going to play with what I had. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, I don't want to say where I probably got it because I'd probably okay. get I sued. Didn't. <laughs> what what was what did you eat that you're going to be staying away from maybe probably salad okay. yeah that's good yeah coach uh last question here over here okay um uh you guys had three home runs today that's uh, all but one run i think came off of home runs it seems like that's been a trend lately what do you think about that any worry there well it can be a good thing but uh you know it's about it's about driving in runs and and you know, the situation today, we really didn't have like a runner third and one out where we need to drive men by putting the bat on the ball. You know, we didn't strike out, pop up, and not score. I mean, home runs are obviously good, but uh, if you're going to add leads, get leads, put teams away, you got to be able to you got to be able to score other ways. And you know, this uh, the last couple of games we scored by hitting home runs. Partners at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the NBA playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that the MLB is back as well. Who are you picking to win the World Series? Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super easy to get started. So head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and use our promo code BELIEVE, that's B L E A V, to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online, where the game starts.